Welcome to this section of the course where we're going to switch gears a little bit. We've been talking a whole lot about fractions, really important stuff. Now we're going to switch gears and we're going to talk about decimal place value. We're going to talk about decimals basically. And then in the follow-on sections we're going to learn how to add and subtract decimals and so on and so forth, okay? But in this section I don't want to do any of that. I just want to talk to, to you about what a decimal is, okay? So imagine in front of you here you have the number 6 over here and you have the number 7 over here. Well, that's number six and that's number seven, but what is between those two numbers, between six and seven, okay? Well, you're gonna have six and a half, maybe, okay? So when you would ask yourself the question, what is between six and seven, okay? Well, you might have, for instance, six and a half. That just means you're six and then you have a half more, because don't forget, you know, fractions are used to talk about things in between numbers, okay? So six and a half, six and three quarters, six and one quarter. There's a lot of fractions in there, okay? But fractions are, are kind of a pain to write down. I mean, they have a bar and there's the two numbers. So we have something else that we can use to talk about numbers when they're between the whole numbers there, and that's called decimals, okay? So anytime you have a decimal point, okay, you have some part of the number that's just kind of between two big numbers, between two whole numbers, okay? So to kind of see that, Let's talk about what we're going to call the number line. Let's say this is the number 6, okay, this is the number 6, and over here we're going to say this is the number 7, okay? So we're going to have this thing we're going to call the number line, okay? Here's the number 6, and way over here is number 7, and then way over there is number 8, number 9, number 10, and then over here, way back over here is 5, 4, 3, okay? But here we're only going to be looking at what is between 6 and 7. Now, we already said that between six and seven, we're gonna have six and a half, right? Six and a half, and it's gonna be right in the middle here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. We'll look here. We'll have six and a half, but we're gonna write it a little bit differently. Instead of writing the, the one half, we're gonna say 6.5, okay? 6.5. Now, to understand where this comes from, here is 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 6 and 6.4. So let's write this down. This is 6.1, 6 6.2, 6.3, And then here's 6.5, okay? So what would come after 6.5? You'd have 6.6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, and then 6.10, which is basically just going to going to roll over. It's not going to be 6.10. It's just going to be 7. Okay? So let's continue on here. You'd have 6.6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, and then you get to 7. Here we have a bunch of decimals. Okay? Basically all it means is anytime you have a number with this decimal point and then a number after it, it's just trying to tell you some fraction of the number between, you know, between this number and the next number. So all of these numbers, 6.123, 1, 2, 3, 6.4, 6.5, 6.6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9. All of those are little tiny numbers in between the big numbers, which is 6 and 7. That's, that's really all it means, okay? So if I were to tell you, you know, go give me, you know, or go, you know, 6.2 of something, well, you're going to know that 6.2 is pretty close to 6. It's not too close to 7. It's kind of over here. 6.5 is going to be right in the middle. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and that's kind of why it's six and a half, and so on. So you're going to have that. Okay, so when we're talking about